Broadcasting live from Shibuya, Tokyo, this is your host, Aaron Randall. Welcome to American Hot Topics. Today we're going to talk about various and new items that are hot and trending in America. Things that are most commonly unknown to Japanese. Today's program is brought to you by Kotobanku. この番組は某国立大学で英語を教えているアーロンと英語学習中のジュンがお送りいたします。This week we're going to talk about Super Tuesday and OJ Simpson. Now with your election update. This week we had Super Tuesday. ジュン、do you know what Super Tuesday is? たくさんの州で投票があったんですよね。Right, correct. Well, actually,、um, I also didn't know、uh, about Super Tuesday that much until this year. Um, probably because many people are taking notice to this year's election, you know, with Trump and everything. Hi, hi, the don't know that. Well, in short, Trump won. <laughs> so. <laughs> so, in the United States, Super Tuesday in general refers informally to one or more Tuesdays early in the U.S. presidential primary season when the greatest number of U.S. states hold primary elections and caucuses. Many delegates to the presidential nominating conventions can be won on Super Tuesday. Than any other single day of the primary calendar. Yes, delegates. We haven't touched on the subject too much up until now, but the candidates are not fighting over who won the most states, they're fighting over the amount of delegates. Allotted to each state. Right, right, kind of like that. For example,、um, Sanders' big win in New Hampshire means that he only gained 24 delegates, right? When compared to Texas, which houses 252 delegates, a win in New Hampshire won't help to win the primary election that much, right? じゃあニューハンプシャーでサンダース勝ったってそのあんまり意味がなかったんですね。いや、unfortunately, you know, if only it had been a state with more delegates, right? ちなみにこのスーパーチューズでどれぐらいの大議員の数が決まるんですか ？So for the Republicans of the 1,762 available, they can win about 600. For the Democrats of the 3,267 available, they can win about 800. So on Super Tuesday, Republicans can win about 600 delegates. Democrats can win about 800 delegates. Ah, だからもう2、3割決まるってことなんですね。Right, and since the 1980s, a win on Super Tuesday has secured the nomination. So this day, in fact, is extremely important and critical to any candidate running in the primaries. はいはい。ということで、じゃあドキドキの結果でも先ほどトランプが勝ったって言ったよね。Yes. <laughs> so let's take a look at the takeaway from Super Tuesday. Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton didn't win their party's nominations on Super Tuesday, but they both became much harder to beat. They can both be said to be the winners on Super Tuesday for their respective parties. So, on the Democrat side, Clinton defeated Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders in seven of the 11 Democratic contests. Hillary currently holds 1,066 delegates, while Sanders holds 432. A Democrat must receive 2,383 delegates to win the nomination. Right.、ね、exactly. On the Republican side, Trump racked up wins in seven states to Texas Senator Ted Cruz's three and Florida Senator Mark Rubio's one. So, Trump's win in New Hampshire and Massachusetts showed he wins white working class moderates. The Reagan Democrats. Reagan Democrats are the most important in the Reagan Democrats. The Reagan Democrats are the most important in the Reagan Democrats. The Reagan Democrats are the most important in the Reagan Democrats. The Reagan Democrats are the most important in the Reagan Democrats. The Reagan Democrats are the most important in the Reagan Democrats. The Reagan Democrats are the most important in the Reagan Democrats. The Reagan Democrats are the most important in the Reagan Democrats. The Reagan Democrats are the most important in And record shattering Republican turnout in Virginia showed he expands the party's base of voters. One of the most surprising things for me was Trump's victory over Massachusetts, a state that houses the highest level schools in the world Harvard, MIT, to name a few. So, Trump currently holds 329 delegates, Cruz with 231, and Rubio with 110. A Republican must receive 1,237 delegates to win the nomination. Cruz is actually kind of in a close second place to Trump. Even with that, even with that, many Americans are very in fear and terrified of the results of Super Tuesday. 
including Republican voters, right? I've actually spoken to a lot of my friends and family, and people are a bit panicked at the idea of Trump becoming president. His win on Super Tuesday has further solidified the reality that he has a shot at the presidency. Hi, hi. And with this, Cruz and Rubio have both spoken out about how to defeat Trump and what kind of dangers Trump might pose to the American people. So according to a CNN article, Cruz did exactly what he needed to do on Super Tuesday. He won his home state of Texas by a resounding margin, and he tacked on Oklahoma and Alaska, allowing him to continue his argument that he is the only Republican who can beat Trump. In fact, Cruz called on the rest of the GOP field to prayerfully consider dropping out of the race during his election night speech. GOP is the right thing. Right, right. It means a Republican Party, and GOP stands for the Grand Old Party. Yeah, he's probably just as much of a narcissist as Donald Trump. But, you know, the Republicans are facing a challenge right now. They have to come together and stand behind a single candidate, especially if they want to defeat Trump. Tonight, this campaign enters a new phase, Cruz said. Tomorrow morning, we have a choice. So long as the field remains divided, Donald Trump's path to the nomination remains more likely, and that would be a disaster for Republicans, for conservatives, and for the nation. And after tonight, we have seen that our campaign is the only campaign that has beaten, that can beat, and that will beat Donald Trump. From Cruz's words, you can tell that the Republicans are very conflicted with Trump. They feel that Donald Trump does not represent any of the values of the Republican Party. And when I say Republican values, I'm talking about, you know, lower taxes, smaller government, encourage the growth of business, the sanctity of human life. Really, the problem with Trump is, and the problem a lot of other Republicans have with Trump, is that he doesn't really talk about any of his plans or policies or values even. Whenever he is questioned about his economic policy, about his tax policy. He always dodges the question or insults people. So um, other Republican candidate Mark Rubio also had a lot to say about Trump. According to an article from The Guardian, Mark Rubio, the party establishment's last best hope, attacked the frontrunner on everything from the now defunct Trump University to outsourcing jobs to manufacture Trump's wide range of namesake products. Rubio said, if he was interested in bringing back American jobs, he could start this very morning by announcing that every product that says Donald Trump on it will be made in America. I challenge him to do that, Rubio said in Knoxville, Tennessee. So in this, Rubio perfectly outlines a fatal flaw in Trump's campaign. That is, a majority of Trump supporters are blue-collar, below-average income Americans. They used to hold manufacturing jobs and other jobs that have been outsourced to other countries to reduce costs. Trump is himself the owner of many of these types of companies and has promised to bring manufacturing back to America. However, it doesn't make any economic sense to bring back manufacturing to America where it will be more expensive. Basically, your everyday Trump supporter is supporting something that is already working against them. <laughs> トランプはもともと資本主義のゴンゲみたいな人なんだから自由競争好きでしょうしそういう意味では非常に共和党的で絶対アウトソーシングやめなさそうですよねだから信じた人は裏切られて信じなかった人にとってはまともな政策を掲げそうっていう、mm-hmm. いやまあでもこの件楽しいんですけど、まあ、基本楽しいんですけどそろそろお腹いっぱいになってきましたけどね<笑> Really? You can't say that though man like you know in America everyone is talking about this right? If me and you were to go to America right now and you know we were in a group having a political conversation, you'd have to give out your opinion or something, you know? No, it's not that bad. You know, you could say, I'm on the fence, right? But I'm not on the fence anymore. I have, <laughs> <laughs> I have become a 100% supporter of Bernie Sanders. You can, you can. You can, um, it's called an overseas ballot. Right. And Bernie Sanders is the only presidential candidate that is advertising on how to vote overseas. <laughs> yes. Yes. This guy's awesome. You know what? He's targeting people. He's targeting Americans that live overseas. I think that just goes to show how much of an open and worldly guy Bernie Sanders is, right?
All right, another story that's kind of heating up in America right now is the story of O.J. Simpson. June, have you heard of O.J. Simpson before? So, O.J. Simpson is most famous for a murder trial that happened in 1995. So, the story trending now is the one of police recently recovering a knife that was possibly owned by O.J. Someone claiming to be a construction worker gave an off duty police officer the knife some years ago and he kept it, thinking the case was closed. LA police are testing the knife for DNA and hair samples that may lead back to OJ. So Simpson had been accused of killing his ex wife and her friend in June of 1994, but a jury found the former American football star not guilty after a dramatic televised trial. Yes, he started off with the Buffalo Bills in 1969. And then played for the San Francisco 49ers in 1978. じゃあ引退した後ってことだったんですね。Yes. Simpson, who is currently serving a 33 year sentence for armed robbery and kidnapping in Las Vegas, cannot be prosecuted again under US law for the murders. So even if they find out that this knife is the knife he used to kill his wife, he cannot be prosecuted again in the US. じゃあ、シンプソンは今、別件でジェイルにいるわけですね。Yes, currently in jail. でも、もともとの件ではもう無罪になってるから、それについて新たな証拠が出てきても、それについて責任を問われることはない。Yes, we call that double jeopardy in America. しかし、まあ、今、ジェールにいることもあり、非常に怪しいと。うん、yes, yes. こいつやったんじゃねっていう。Yes, yes, yes. This is how most Americans feel about the situation. はいはい。Back in 1994, OJ's ex-wife, Nicole Brown, and her friend, Ronald Goldman, were found stabbed in the head and neck. In the yard of Brown's home. ね、yes, it's a very brutal way of doing it, right?、ね mm-hmm. Police asked OJ to turn himself in after the murders, but he failed to show up at the police station. He was actually spotted inside a white Ford Bronco hours later, leading to a slow speed pursuit across Los Angeles motorways. The pursuit was broadcast on live television to millions of viewers. For many, it was the trial of the century. As OJ learned his fate in 1995, it felt like the whole world was watching. The superstar's acquittal divided the United States, in part at least on racial lines. Yes. At first, Simpson had fled, pursued by police and paparazzi on live television, his supporters waving cardboard place cards as they cheered him on. The question now is whether modern DNA techniques can prove whether or not their loyalty to the man they called The Juice was misplaced. His、uh, nickname was The Juice in the NFL. So, of course, the knife may turn out to have nothing to do with the murders, and in any case, the law of double jeopardy protects Simpson from a retrial. He is in prison, anyways. Since 2008, Simpson has been serving a 33 year sentence for armed robbery and kidnapping in Las Vegas. But he can apply for parole from next year, a moment which will surely reignite the controversy. Parole? So, parole is when a, a prisoner is good, they have good behavior, and they're released early. Yes, yes. Yes, but I think if you spend a certain amount of time in prison and you have good behavior, you can get out if you apply for parole. So, after the car chase, they finally caught OJ and he assembled a dream team of highly paid lawyers for the case, including. Johnny Cochran and Robert Kardashian. So, we've probably talked about、um, Kanye West's wife, Kim Kardashian, right?、Um, her father was actually Robert Kardashian, OJ's lawyer. Yes. The trial, which lasted 10 months, created a huge media frenzy. Television networks reaped high ratings from airing trial proceedings, and many magazine covers were devoted to it. So, During the OJ trial, man, everyone in America was completely locked in on this. I mean, this was everywhere, this was in everything. Right, right, there's no evidence yet.、はいまあね、Absolutely. So, drawing even more speculation into whether or not OJ actually committed、um, the killings of his wife is the fact that a book was released by a ghostwriter and Reportedly himself 
called If I Did It. 今本の画像を見てるんですけど、うん、If I Did It の If が小さすぎて、yeah. 完全に I Did It しか見えないっていう。<笑><笑> yeah, yeah, extremely suspicious, right? So the book is basically、um, OJ's take. On if he had done the crimes, this is how he would have done it. <laughs> yeah. Even on, the,、um, on the, the cover of the book, under I Did It, it says Confessions of the Killer. <laughs> yes, he,、um, he states that it's only fiction.、Right? Yeah. So there was a lot of opposition to this book, right? Um, Nicole Brown's family opposed it, and a lot of people said that you know, OJ was trying to profit from the killing of two people and then write about it. So, subsequently, the book was canceled. But then it was actually leaked online one year later. If I did it, it's a good thing. Yes, yes, absolutely. If I did it, it's a good thing. 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 Alright, so here is this week's word list. Caucuses. Political party meetings where they select candidates, similar to primaries. Allotted. To give an amount of something to someone. Televised. To broadcast on TV. Stabbed. Thrust a knife or other pointed weapon into someone as to wound or kill. Acquittal. A judgment that a person is not guilty of the crime which they have been charged. Parole. Releasing a prisoner early due to good behavior. So, June, do you feel a little、um, more happy talking about this、um, criminal gossip? So, I'm not going to say that. 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 オトフェチ集合英語の気持ちいいよとあなたの性感帯に訴える ASMR 特集、えー、性感帯の性能字はもちろんですね声の方のボイスの方ですからね、えー、端的に言うとアーロンさんにいろいろ英単語を発音してもらって発音のお勉強をするっていうお気楽な企画となっております Why are you、um, advertising、uh, next week's episode this time only? それはですね期待値調整のためですね、oh. どう転ぶかわからない企画なので、えー、ということでご期待くださいまた来週 All right, guys, thank you so much for joining us on another episode of American Hot Topics. Tune in next week, and we'll catch you next time.